For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney, and I'm here at InterDigital's booth at Mobile World Congress to speak with Alan Carlton about InterDigital's vision for 5G. So Alan, for years, the kind of going discussion has been that we need to define 5G. Have we reached that point and clearly demarcated the goalposts? I absolutely believe we do. I think some tremendous work has been done over the last uh, couple of years in defining those goalposts. Work in the ITU, work, work in the NGMN and other bodies. And I think there's an industry consensus now as to what 5G is all about. And those goalposts are enhanced mobile broadband services, massive machine type communications, ultra-reliable, low-latency services. And Alan, what are the most challenging aspects associated with 5G? I think uh, there's certainly many technical challenges in driving 5G, uh, both on the network side and the, on the radio side. Uh, delivering uh, on the promises of uh, large-scale millimeter wave networks will require a tremendous innovation, both at the network level and uh, in the, the handset form factor. Uh, in my mind, however, I think the biggest challenge in 5G is us waking up to recognizing that we really need a transformation in networking technology. We need to take the internet to the next level and revisit some of our operating principles uh, in networking technology. Only through that will we achieve uh, extremely low latency requirements that uh, 5G has set as targets for itself. Yeah, and each previous G has been uh, defined by an uh, application. For 3G, it was data to the handset. With 4G, we saw more robust services like streaming and interactive media. What's going to be the defining application of 5G? That is very true. Uh, uh, that's how I often like to explain 5G. It's thinking back through the generations. 2G was built to deliver a wonderful voice service and did a great job in that respect. 3G expanded on that. 4G delivered a video capability and was optimized for that purpose. Looking into 5G, I really think it's going to be a whole new category of services that are going to be brought to bear. Uh, all the things that are going to be possible with the Internet of Things, but probably what most excites me is maybe not the new applications, but the new user interfaces and the application experience that will be delivered with uh, these new, inter new interfaces like virtual reality and augmented reality. It's for these very applications that 5G is being developed and its KPIs are targeted at. So Alan, the R&D associated with 5G is ongoing across the globe. Are there any particular geographies where you see as having an advantage in this R&D race? I think there is tremendous uh, energy and focus going into the 5G uh, development. Uh, today, I think Europe and Asia are in many ways taking the lead. We have the 5G public-private uh, partnership project, the 5G triple P project in the UK and in, in Europe, that is investing a lot of money in forward-looking 5G research. In Asia, there's a number of forums. Uh, out of our office in Asia, we're participant in the 5G forum in Korea as well. But what? is most exciting to say now is I think the world is beginning to consolidate around real standards initiatives and just like before we're looking towards uh, leadership forums like the 3GPP now to step up in the standardization or the first steps in standardization of 5G which we expect to start this year. So specific to 5G tell us a little bit about the work that InterDigital is doing. InterDigital is involved in a diverse areas of 5G research and development. Uh, here in Barcelona, we're showcasing a number of our key developments that we're quite proud of. Uh, we've developed a, a reference platform for exploring uh, the access interface, uh, uh, exploring some of the, the, the challenges in millimeter wave technology. We're showcasing that here in Barcelona. We're also showcasing our next generation edge hall platform, which is exploring uh, new architectures and new approaches for uh, delivering next generation front hall and back hall experiences. We're also involved at the network level, looking at new architectures for delivering extremely low latency solutions. Uh, a new term, information centric networking, is something we believe has a strong place and future in the 5G world. And I think we're doing some leading edge research in that space too. Alan, thank you for joining me to share InterDigital's vision of 5G. Thank you.